Because we wear makeup, man. That's no, a couple of sisters out there. Just hit up the makeup. What's the point of wearing hijab, though? Think about it properly. And a hijab is a good thing to wear. Yeah. What's no. the point of wearing it when you're putting on makeup? So what's the intention? So sort of contradict yourself, Yanni. Yani. You're yeah, trying to cover your hair. You're trying to hide your beauty, but then you're exposing it. <laughs> so Contradiction. It or one thing like, look, hijab, yeah, what is it? It's just covering the whole body. Uh, you know, protecting the body, covering the body. Uh, and like, for instance, if a woman is very developed, and he, obviously if she covers herself, it's not going to show to a certain extent, but she tries her best to cover as much as she can, except yeah. what's very obvious. Yeah, like, you know. Etc. We won't go into detail on that. <laughs> but, um, uh, right now. I pervert. No, but, um, yeah, but then you find sisters wearing jeans. And then very colourful, glittery hijabs. So then it contradicts the fact that you're trying to cover yourself and dress modestly, so that you won't attract attention, and then you... You put on the hijab, we put on the khimar, but that's, that's the right. You put on the headscarf, but then you don't honor the rest of the hijab, we're in tight jeans. If we talk about sisters, we have to talk about sisters that's on practicing Islam down to the letter. I mean, like fundamental sisters, fundamental Muslims, not the ones that blow themselves up. The ones that would niqab, yeah, most of them are, you know, <coughs> talafi. <coughs> talafi. <laughs> talafi ones are scary, though. But not most, man. I know. <laughs> People are going to probably, you know... Mm. TV is haram! Yeah, I've seen them. TV is halal. You know that it's halal. As long as he switched off, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Uh, yeah, why not, man? I don't mind marrying a woman of Minakabi, as long as she's not too... Extreme. Whoa, 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 why are you watching movies? The, no, Come this, here! <laughs> describe, ex describe extreme, though. Extreme? The ticket, the ticket. I want extremists to the point that she prays. I want to show you that's the, that's that she, that she reads that she reads Quran, that uh, that she's always reading, learning Islam, that you know she does, you know, she goes to halakat with the Muslim sisters, she does something productive. I don't want a wife that's gonna come home, yeah, and she's sitting watching, you know, dramas all day long, yeah. The kids are with running choc around. with chocolates and tears on her eyes. Yeah, exactly, but well then why you know, Allah, there's some women they think that look, if they get married they can let themselves go. Like fine, she's married. Then oh, I can eat whatever I want and turn into uh, you know, a big simo. <laughs> over, I'll, I'll use overweight, overweight woman. So then, yeah, you want to Would you marry an overweight woman? She will, she will destroy you, know you yeah, bro. I don't even look at uh, beauty too much. Obviously, beauty is a factor when you get married. But then we've got um, Islam, then we've got wealth, then we've got other factors, isn't it? Those are essentials, we don't need to talk every, about not, that. Not every uh, uh, so, somewhat overweight woman is going to be ugly. There's some overweight women that are beautiful as well, so you can't say that. It's true though. Yeah, I... Uh, no, but I'm just talking... But then you've got a limit in it when it's like, I don't know. That she won't go through the door. she can't fit through the door. <laughs> That's a problem there, isn't it? Like, but when she sits in the car, yeah, the car leads to her one side, isn't it? <laughs> sort of like... Oh, we need to fill in the, the wheels of the air. Ah, wheels. With uh, all of this cute poodle. Yeah, so who are you looking to marry? From which what country? Yes. Zimbabwe, innit? Zimbabwe. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. That'll be a great mix. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start clicking. <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, um. Alright, I've got three countries in mind. Four, three, three. I'll say Malaysia. Okay, sweet. Indonesia. Japan. Algerian. I won't get married to Algerian. I'm Algerian, but I won't get married to Algerian. They'll run off to unit. Come here. Bro, Fu just grip you up like, where have you been? <laughs> no, I was at work. Fu <laughs> <laughs> just slap you. No, Algerian women just like are rude. They're rude, genuinely. My mom's <laughs> Algerian, and she's a nice woman. Like, it's different. You have to look at Algerian women now, and, like, it's different generations, that's the important thing. The generation what, 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 that my mother came from and the generation of Algerian girls that are here now are different. Like they, at, at their time, they were, Islam was being impressed, uh, oppressed. Um, people weren't allowed to wear hijab uh, at certain times. You know, Islam was completely crushed. You know, so many people were just speaking French. And he, because of what the French did, they took over Algeria and they ruled over the country for 150 years. Then, alhamdulillah, we, we got into independence. 
But for Islam to come back to the people, for people to start practicing, it will take some time because of so many scholars have been killed, thrown in prison, you know, so many things that are bad have happened, but there was still like an Islamic movement there and an Islamic revival. So my mom was part of those people that did the Islamic revival. That, yani, she was, her, her mother was uh, French. Her dad was Turkish, but she lived in Algeria. And, they've, and their, uh, uh, you know, mothers and fathers were there for some generations. So she's not Algerian by blood, but, you know, because of the amount of time her family stayed there, she is sort of from uh, that perspective. Okay, let me stop you here. Yeah. I need to switch a stick. Okay, the point I was trying to make is that like my mother was one of those women that was trying to promote Islam, get the people back to Islam, talking about Islam, the right understanding of Islam. So she started the movement where, like, she was one of the people that started the movement of, of in the city of Anab, where her sisters started wearing um, hijab. So she started, she put on hijab, and even when she put on hijab, people used to tell her, why are you putting it on, etc. Why are you doing this? Why are you not letting it show in your hair, etc. But, she, you know, she put it on, alhamdulillah, and a lot of, so many sisters followed. You know, so her, her kind, these are people that were in a, in a place where Islam was being oppressed and they, they, they loved for Islam for what it was yeah, and they wanted to practice. It wasn't a choice of just culture, look, wear hijab because your dad's telling you to. It's because they wanted to, because they wanted to apply the sharia, they wanted to apply, they wanted to do what Allah wanted them to do. Now, if you look at Algeria now, it is, the, the mindset has changed completely because of satellites and etc. People are watching MTV, watching all this all these movies and things like that and they base their lives on that like women they no longer like practice Islam for what Islam is but they do it because of either culture or their parents are telling them to do it so you find their mindset the way they think the way they act is sometimes not even you know Islamic at all they might wear hijab but from their manners and their and the way they live here yeah, and the way they practice Islam it's completely kind of you know opposite you know yeah but these people that you know, just think it's, um, it's culture when they wear hijab. <laughs> and their, their parents are not there, they just, you know, yeah. what they want to do. Their sister's like that. Have you heard a story of one sister? She wears hijab when she goes out, and when she, after she's out, she takes off her hijab. When she's out. She's on a mini skirt. <laughs> Boom. Allah. These people, this shows that, look here, yeah, just because you are born as a Muslim doesn't mean that you, you know, are a sincere one. Because Islam, you know, requires sincerity. You can't just say, look, I'm Muslim. Like, just saying, La ilaha illallah is going to make you one. There's a difference between this Muslim and practicing La ilaha illallah. That means practicing Islam. You know, what can you do, man? That's just a lack of Islamic knowledge, man. Find them wearing makeup, man. Yeah, that's a, no, I, know, I used to know sisters from my, from my old school a couple years ago. I don't know how many years have gone past, but <laughs> when I used to go to... Okay. Uh, uh, secondary school, long, long, long time ago. Sisters there, wear hijab, but wallahi, from their actions, their manners, the way they speak, wallahi, they, there's no difference between them and a the kafir. I'm not calling them a kafir, but the way they act, the way they speak, no difference. Moving to boys, flirting with boys, touching boys, hugging boys, swearing, listening to music. Just because you wear that scarf over your head doesn't make you, you know, a, a good Muslim sister. That's why Islam is not appearances. It's not appearances. I ask Panatana to look at who you are, whether you're a good looking person, what position, what riches you have. I ask Panatana to look in one place and that's in the soul. That, that's, that's it. But it doesn't mean, okay, if Allah looks in my soul, I don't need to wear hijab, or I don't need to do this, or just because so many bad sisters are wearing hijab, what's the point of wearing it? You're wearing it for the fundamental reason why Allah Panatana prescribed it. Is because of uh, that, to protect yourself and your... Um, What's the word for that? Protect yourself, respect yourself, and give yourself some uh, you know, dignity. <laughs> dignity, that's the one. So what's your advice to these sisters that keep putting makeup, huh? Yes. Um, <laughs> that's kind of harsh. <laughs> if I see you, you're going to smash your window. I'm joking. Um, uh, I'll burn the house down. Yeah. Gasoline. <laughs> No man, the best thing for them to do, inshallah, is to know that you don't need to wear makeup. If you expect, what's that? What's that? I don't even know if it's the ayah of the Quran. Yeah, yeah, the khabi, the No, let's start with that part. The I don't, I don't know the whole verse, but I'm anyway, um, 
the 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 good people, the good Muslims are for the good Muslims. Like yeah, for the righteous women. Exactly, exactly. And the bad Muslims are gonna have the bad Muslims to put together. So you know, Subhanallah. If if you if you're a Muslim, and you're a Muslim, and you expect Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to give you a good practicing Muslim man, because that's the true man. The person or a man that's not a practicing Muslim man, he ain't gonna fear Allah. He ain't gonna look after you properly. You don't know what he might do to you. He might beat you. He might mistreat you. You know, he might cheat on you. You don't know what, you know, if someone doesn't fear Allah, they can do almost anything. Wallahi. So, you, if you expect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you, a, you know, a good husband, then inshallah, and you've got to fear Allah, man. It's not even about the makeup. What are you trying to attract with that? Yani, you know. Like, what's your intention? Who you what's your please? intention? Yani, you, you want to get married? There's a lot of brothers out there looking to get married. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Uh, people to come and try to check you up. You want to go out and dates. You want to kind of, uh, you know, spread more misconceptions about Islam. You know, people. a lot of people do judge Islam from what the people, Muslims do. They do judge Islam by that. So they, see, they might see Muslims doing certain acts that are not part of what Islam teaches. And then non-Muslims will think, oh, look at these Muslims. They, you know, they're supposed to be practicing and look what they're doing. I remember There's Muslim sisters out there that wear hijab, but they don't pray. They are. There are Muslim sisters out there. When they go out of the house, because of their family is very religious, their older brother might be practicing Muslim, her dad might be practicing Muslim, her mother is a practicing Muslim, she can't go out of the house without wearing hijab. So she goes, she puts on and she, she has fun. She thinks that she's having fun. <laughs> she gets on to what she wants to do, but... Crap, I forgot my password. Um, can you say it out loud so the world can know and hack your... Yeah, my password. You don't even know what I'm logging into, so it was it. So, you know... The sisters that's there in Piccadilly, unless they don't have a good reason, if you live there, it's a different story. If she's out there going with her husband to a restaurant or going with her family to a restaurant, why not? There should be sisters in Piccadilly. What, what's wrong with that? There can be sisters in any place in London. doesn't yeah. matter. What's the place of fitna, man? So what? They're doing if, a sister's with her, if the sister was her family or she was her brothers and sisters or cousins, man, what's that? Let her go. As long as, even if, she's cousin, if she, even if she is with her cousins. That's wrong, man. She has to have a mahram with her. Before she goes out, if they're, if, if they're female, Allah I'm about to hook them on that, yeah. Because I'm, 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 I'm not a scholar right here, but, you know, if, if they're male cousins, then she has to have a mahrib with her, obviously. But, why not, man? Okay, so, what, what do you like? Like you said, the BMP match at the track, I've seen it. <laughs> BMP is growing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, some of them are pretty racist, not against Islam or Muslims, generally anybody is not British. See now, we see that um, people from different communities and ethnicities etc have integrated into the British society. So now they seem feel somewhat uh, uh, afraid that, that their Britain which they believe and they fought for in the world war is going to disappear. And the fact is, it has. It has. We came and we're taking over in it, so it's too late. You can't take... Britain needs foreigners to help their economy. If we were left, the British side, British economy would completely collapse. They need us. They don't need anybody to come and claim for benefits or housing. But, you know, this, you know for example, there's a lot of people out there. Like, for instance, like, um, a lot of brothers here doing a lot of business. A lot of Muslim people are holding up the, the, the you know the British uh, economy, like for instance, I think there's a figure of 25,000 Muslim millionaires in the United Kingdom. That sounds so fake. I know, but I've heard that before. <laughs> Why? Bismillah. I think, um, one joke here, um, some, uh, one comedian must have said it, basically goes like this. Um, Pakistani guy goes to speak to his friend Bob in, in his job. And he says, um, now, he's talking about in Chicago, a long time ago, we used to pray in closets. Um, we didn't even have, you know, a, a, you know, a place to do the Friday Jumu'ah. This is, like, he said that basically we used to do Jumu'ah namaz in, in, in a closet. So basically he's saying that, now, I don't know what the figure was, but I think it was over. We have over, you know, one million uh, Muslims in Chicago. So, he's expecting his friend Bob at work to get all excited. 
But then Bob's going off to his, to his other co-workers and saying, Did you hear? There's one million of them coming. That's it, we're dead. <laughs> so, you know, subhanAllah. It's good to conquer the world. Even though you use your media and your ways of, you know, trying to shut down trying Islam. Trying to distort Islam. Yes, that's it. It will not, that's it, it's too late. I was the Quran, you read a lot, you read on the Meaning that the disbelief is which to extinguish the light of Allah. That means the Quran, Islam, um, you, know, you know, the message of the Prophet. They want to extinguish and ruin and you know completely dismantle Islam. Allah will perfect his light, will perfect the message of Islam. Even if they hate it. So meaning that they can't succeed. Islam will never ever stop spreading. It's going to carry on spreading. We conquered the world. We ruled Spain for 800 years. We ruled India or that region, meaning India, Pakistan, etc. I think it was called uh, Hindustan before uh, those uh, Hindustan? Countries. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called wow. Hindustan altogether, all of it. So we ruled that land for over a thousand years. You know, um, we had most of the world. We had most of the world in our fist. And, and we I'm still not, have it. And it's going to be ours. We don't have it anymore. There's a lot of Muslims though. They might have taken away the Islamic uh, uh, Caliphate. Or ha, 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 that's how, that's how <laughs> British people... They might have taken away the Khalifa. But they can't, they can't take away the Muslim people or Islam in Muslim people's hearts. So like one brother was saying, like, uh, them, there's only four minarets in Switzerland. They passed a new law to just uh, to uh, ban minarets. There's only four. So basically, um, the brother was saying, "Fine, you know, you lot against the the niqab, you lot against the hijab, you lot against mosques, you lot against everything about Islam that you can find an excuse to somewhat uh, kind of uh, put some criticism to Islam. You can try to ban all of them, but." You can never extinguish Islam in the people's hearts and minds. You cannot. Because I, I, I can say anything about any subject, but I can't extinguish Islam. What, what, what? I have zero minutes left on my SD card. This is a video tutorial on how...